Hello YouTube, in this video I'm trying to explain as fast as possible how to make a voltage regulator for 5, 9 and 12 volts. Okay, uh, first of all there are three kind of components, 5, 9 and 12 volt components that you need to find out to make this work. Also you need some capacitors but the voltage regulator is the one that you need. There are two kind of component, uh, two kind of voltage regulators. One it's, it's cost more that has thermal cut out inside and a drop voltage of 0.5. The cheaper one is um, 2 volt drop down and does not have thermal cut out so it might just warm enough to light in fire. Uh, so first of all the markings on the components are LM7805 for 5 volts, LM7809 for 9 volts, LM7812 for 12 volts. Easy as that. And the, how do you make the voltage regulator? First you have plus and minus here, it's 12 volts here, but remember that if you buy the cheaper one it will uh, output only 10 volts if you have 12 volt input. First of all you put a capacitor here, it's a 10 microfarad capacitor with the markings of 50 volts maybe perhaps you may, might use bigger one or but not lower one than 12 volts and you want to use at least 10 microfarads even higher if you want it more the voltage more stabilized. Uh, then you have the LM7805 here as we want to have 5 volts for our mobile phones or our, our GoPro, GoPro Hero or to charge up these devices. And uh, LM7805 here, the output goes straight to the plus side of your micro USB plus cable and uh, then you have two capacitors here, one is 10 microfarads, one is 0 0.5 microfarads, a ceramic, mic uh, ceramic uh, capacitor, just to make sure that the bigger one stabilizes the uh, voltage and the smaller one is fast uh, to stabilize the small ripple that might occur. So you have stable 5 volt current here and uh, le only thing you need to do is add the minus side and just put the adjust a leg into the minus side. The voltage regulator has uh, the enough components inside so it because normally if you have like LM317 you put resistors uh, so which determines what voltage you come out. I have another video about how to make adjustable voltage regulator but in this 5 volt voltage regulator just simple minus side three capacitors and a LM7805. Just remember that the more current you uh, draw out and the higher the input voltage is, the more the component heats. So you might want to buy some heat, heat sink and hook it up into the heat sink so it passively radiates the heat off from the component so it does not lit up. Uh, also I remember I uh, said earlier that there are components that have inner cutout temperature uh, sensor that cuts out the input and output if it gets too hot. Those might be a good thing to buy. Okay, like if you like this, like if you dislike and leave a comment. I copied this video from a Afrotech mods in here YouTube. Thumbs up for him. I'm just making this video uh, uh, because I got some videos how to make adjustable voltage regulators and how to manipulate car alternator to output 16.8 volts. So if you make this stable 12 volt output regulator it can make your alternator output the 16.8 voltage regulator and you do not need to have anything uh, to tamper with. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.